Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is the latest edition of our News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, giving you weather on your schedule, whether you're on the go, staying at home, station that's on your side. We'd like to make certain you stay up to date with the weather, and this is our weather blog helping you do that. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here, please let me know. Austin.onik at WRAG.com. At the top of, your page, of the page, bottom of your page, forecast in the red bar, temperature in the mid to upper 80s today. Winds out of the south. Plenty of sunshine after the clouds move on out. And temperatures tonight only back in the upper 60s to lower 70s for the metro area. And looking at mostly clear skies into much of the day today and into the evening hours. So some good stargazing weather into tonight. We'll have more on that coming up a little bit later on in your forecast. Rest of the next few hours not doing too bad out there as temperatures try to rise well, trying to get the temperatures on there back into the lower 70s as we head into the rest of the morning and into early this afternoon. Clouds coming and going and numbers back in the mid 80s as we work our way toward early this afternoon. Could be some record highs out there depending on how much sunshine we get and the conditions out there for, again, the possibility of seeing some very warm numbers into the next few days will be sticking around for much of the Mid-South. Our exclusive cough temp decks, coffee temperature beverage recommendation index, morning wake up, definitely want to think about a hot cup of java as it is a bit on the cool side out there, but into this afternoon, warm enough that you're going to need something to cool down with, so an afternoon refresher may not be such a bad idea. Mississippi River dropping by just a little bit, 7.72 this morning, heading for about 6.5 feet above the zero stage at Memphis. Not seeing any major rises coming our way thanks to rain north of us heading downstream as we saw from those thunderstorms from a couple of weeks ago and now dropping by just a little bit heading down towards zero stage back into the next few days, possibly, but mainly staying into about the five foot plus category for right now. Heading into the next seven, quiet where earthquakes are concerned in the Mid-South and beyond. Nothing showing up on the New Madrid fault line. No earthquakes to report within the last 24 hours, thanks to the United States Geological Survey and to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information available. Sunrise this morning, beautiful weather at the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. A lot of sunshine in the campus area right there. Ventress Hall, the roof getting lit up with some sunlight. Heidelberg Elementary looks pretty good on the Weatherbug system. Plenty of sunshine there. Power Center Academy, one of our brand new web Weather Center webcams from the Weatherbug Network. A few clouds drifting overhead, but not doing too bad. Olive Branch, Mississippi, former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam from City Hall, looking out for some sunshine there. Sunrise this morning was at 7.08. will be tomorrow morning at just a little bit earlier, 7.08, losing a few seconds tomorrow. Sunset tonight at 6.23, 6.22 tomorrow, so we're going to be losing just about a minute, minute and a half of daylight as we go into the course of the next few hours. The Almanac page, again, showing a high of 83 yesterday, which was 10 degrees below a record high of 93. Record high for today, 87, which has not been broken since 1984. We may be giving that a very good run for its money into the rest of the day today. 62 are low. Normally, we should be at 54 degrees, so rather on the warm side out there for yesterday. And 31, the record low for today, which hasn't been broken since the National Weather Service started keeping records back about 1876. Rainfall, nothing to report. Port yesterday, we're not quite as bad off for October as we were for September, thanks to that rain we got on Friday, and we still have a pretty good surplus for the entire year of just shy of one foot of rainfall out there. Rest of the day today, temperatures again not doing too bad. Uh, what you can see of them looks like we're having a bit of a data connection issue at this time. So doubtful we're going to be able to see too much on here, but it's going to be a warm one today and cool into later on tonight. Temperatures on the seven day forecast looking like this. Numbers today back in the mid 80s. Again, 86 the expected high. Record high 87 degrees. So we're going to come very close to that into the rest of the day today. Even hotter tomorrow with Temperatures pushing the mid to upper 80s to right around 90 degrees, and 90 degrees the high temperature on Tuesday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Storm system out west that is going to be rolling across the country may drop a cold front our direction, and that may give us the potential of some showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Now, it's possible as the storm system crosses the Rockies that we may see the storm system itself make its way to the west of us over the Rockies and it may take a while for that storm system to pass on by. As it does, it could slow down very easily, which means the rainfall chances might get pushed into next weekend and beyond. So we're going to have to watch this with a lot of interest 
to see if that affects the forecast and if it does this forecast that you're seeing here is going to change greatly into the next several days so definitely want to stay tuned to news channel 3 for updates on that either way we go from the upper 80s on wednesday to the upper 60s on friday and very nice weekend ahead if everything holds lower to mid 70s for highs next saturday and sunday want to learn more about severe weather great opportunities to do so courtesy of the national weather, weather service in memphis madison county emergency operations center on grady montgomery drive in jackson coming up this tuesday at 6 30 p.m two days after that thursday chester county fire station number one in henderson tennessee on sanford street that'll be at 6 p.m monday the 24th one week before halloween desoto county emergency operations center on old highway 51 in nesbitt mississippi 6 30 p.m for that green county in arkansas at Leif city hall 143 main street on the 25th of October and another one coming up after that several days out into around late October Crittenden County at ASU Mid-South Reynolds Center more information on this you can go to wreg.com slash weather for the links with the National Weather Service and get you your family your business your place of worship ready to go by attending these meetings to get you trained on what you need to know to get ready for severe weather season we're in number two of the severe weather season for the year and that's very important to remember because we've got, again, what could be an active season ahead of us. You need to be ready for that right now. Tune in for the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And if you've got any great weather pictures, tweet them to me, Aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Twitter, also on uh, Instagram and Facebook trying to figure out snapchat at this point in time but it's not quite as easy if you don't have the amount of coffee inside of you and don't forget about our weather app go to the app store and search WREG weather complete and total coverage of the forecast as we round out the weekend coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 depending on how football decides to wrap up this evening maybe on the late edition and we'll also have an update on our astronomy blog sky blog 3 for what's coming up in the mid-south skies tonight we'll be posting that later on this afternoon so stay tuned for there again questions comments concerns please let me know austin.onic at wreg.com from the news channel 3 weather center in downtown memphis i'm meteorologist austin onic thanks for joining me for the latest edition of news channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime more coming up tonight on news channel 3 on air and online